Online coaching has exploded in recent years and so have online coaching apps. And more specifically, apps that help you coach your clients, give them training programs or workouts, do check-ins with them and also check their health stats. These apps can really help you coach your online clients and really give them structure to their training. But there are so many to choose from with varying features, usability and also prices. I'm always hearing of new apps coming to the market and it seems to be not slowing down anytime soon. But which app would be best suited for you in your online fitness business? In this video series, I'm going to dive in and do a full in-depth review of several of the online coaching apps that you could use. Diving into features, usability, pricing, connectivity, app access, and also support. I'll be sharing my screen and doing an in-depth review of the desktop version of the app to see whether this app would be the right fit for you to use in your online fitness business. Like I mentioned earlier this is going to be a video series so I'll be reviewing one app per video so if there is an app that you want to see be sure to check out my channel so let's dive straight in okay so in this video I'm going to review Everfit which is a coaching software for personal training businesses and also gyms as well and as ever, I'm going to go through the website and go through some of the features and then also the pricing. And then I'm going to dive into the desktop app and really dive into the usability and go through each feature in detail. So let's have a look at the website to start off. So we can see here we've got training, habit coaching, nutrition, messaging and progress tracking, which looks really good. Again, the app looks really simple. Uh, which I like. Uh, simplicity is always good because if it's complex, we're not going to use it and we're not going to use, um, be, you know, we're not going to enjoy using it. We've then got custom branding, automation, package training programs, resource collections, and forums and leaderboards. Be interested to see the leaderboards because I do like gamifying things like that. So if you've got a group uh, or you're doing a challenge and you've got leaderboards, then that might be really interesting. So then we know that it's for personal trainers and also for studios and gyms. Okay, so then if we hover over the features, we can see some of the other features as well. So training, nutrition, habit, custom branding, forms and questionnaires, payment, automation, teams, and then on demand as well. So it covers off pretty much all of the features. Let's now dive into the pricing. So as we can see here, I'll always check the bill monthly and bill annually, depending on how you want to sign up. So if you go annually, you'll get two months free. Again, it has a free starter plan, which is really cool. So train up to five clients. You won't get access to all of the features, but again, this might be a really good way to start uh, and obviously get some clients in there and beta test using the software. From there, we've got the pro account, which says it's most popular. So it's $19 a month for five clients, and that get, gets you some more features like habit coaching, forms, journals, program builder, custom branding, community and manage team members. So let's see how this scales. So if we go to 10 clients, we're at 29, 49, we're at 20, $49 is 20 clients, 35 goes up to 75. So it does quite uh, scale quite quickly. Um, but again, as your business grows, you'll be making more money and you should be able to afford the software price. And then we've got the studio price as well. So for $105, you can have 50 clients and you get access to all the features, including an on-demand training portal as well, which is pretty cool. So that's pricing. So now let's dive into the actual desktop app and go through the features. So when you log in, this is what you're greeted with. You've got the, the all clients section here. Let's just click on the logo here to see if it takes me back to a dashboard. No, so this is the dashboard. So we can see all of our clients that we've added. And we obviously got a demo account here. So we can see last activity, last seven days training, 30 days training, seven day tasks, and also the category that they're in. So whether they're online in person and then whether they're connected. So it's like a dashboard. We can obviously see the activity of our clients, which I like, because obviously if you're working online with them, you want to be able to see these stats and check in with them and make sure they're going through your program. So then we've kind of got the different um, clients down here. So connected, pending, offline, waiting, activation. Down the left-hand side, we've got the different features. So we've got kind of the exercises, workouts, programs, tasks, forms, questionnaires. We've got the inbox. We've got the auto flow, which is automations, which I'll dive into. We've got the resource collections, workout collections, studio programs, community forums, and then packages. And then along the top, we've got a search function. So as you scale and add more clients in, 
you know you might have a long list so you want to search client quickly which is pretty cool we've got tasks here as well which i like because as you get busier and busier you're going to be doing more and more tasks so you can add tasks in here and then make sure obviously you complete them so if a client's coming to the end of a cycle in their program you may want to add a task in here and say like in six weeks create a new program so you don't miss that we've then got the help center so we've got getting started uh, workout builder Automations this is like a quick start um, section where you can just jump to these sections and then we've got notifications as well. Down at the bottom left, we've got refer a coach, the team, and then just our overall settings. And then we've got intercom as well here, uh, which is our help center, which we'll dive into a little bit later. So that's the overall um, features and kind of what's available inside of Everfit. Now let's dive into them a little bit more. So let's click on Ben Andrew, who's the demo account. So this is a client. So then we've got a really nice, simple dashboard here. So we've got the training dashboard, we've got the metrics and weight, we've got notes, we've got injuries, we've got goals, progress photos, and then their profile and update. So this is really simple, but a, a nice looking interface. It's not too overfacing. And then we can look at their training. So again, we've got a calendar format here. So we can load in uh, their training programs into a calendar format. We've got tasks, which we can add in. We've got their metrics. So any, any stats that we're you know uh, tracking uh, and checking, we've got the food journal. So obviously you need to uh, get this feature, so you'd have to upgrade for that feature. And then we've got their settings as well. So we can limit their settings depending on what package you're selling. We've so. also see here, allow client to send voice messages. This is a really cool feature. Uh, I haven't seen this in a lot of apps, but you know as we get busier and busier or on the move, Voice messaging is a lot easier to do quickly um, than typing. So I really like this, that in the message feature, we can send voice messages. This is a really cool feature. All right, so let's dive back to the overview and then let's go to exercises and go through those. So we can see here there's over one and a half thousand exercises. If we click on one of these, they're all added in for us. We've got the names, we've got the photos, and then it's not pulling through, doesn't look like it's pulling through the, the links. So it looks like you have to add your own video link. Let me just check a few more. Yeah, so it seems like you've got to use your own YouTube or Vimeo uh, link, which a lot of the other apps do, um, do already have that embedded. So um, that might be something that might take you time, especially if you're building out your program. And uh, we can see here actually some of them are added because we can see the videos. So the videos are pulled through. So for some of them, uh, the videos are added. We can see here we've got the little video icon on these. So I'm, sh I'm assuming a lot of them have videos, which is great. Uh, we don't necessarily want to be searching YouTube or Vimeo for the specific exercise. And I also don't recommend creating your own just for the time it takes. It's not worth it just when you're getting started or you're trying to build your business. There's more important things to be doing like marketing and sales and also coaching your clients as well. So it looks like a good extensive exercise library. Let's look at workouts. So we can add a workout. We've got some demo ones here. So let's click on this one and we can see the exercise builder here. So we've got a uh, cat stretch, uh, the set, the time, the reset, shoulder stretch. So it seems quite simple to load in. We've got one set, 12 reps, legs. This is like an interval training. So yeah, we've got different sets here. So yeah, it seems pretty simple. We've got all of the exercise on the left-hand side. You can add exercises and add all the information you need. Um, and you can see the arrangement, which is which is nice actually, because you can't see it all in uh, one go here, but down here you can see how it how the actual workout kind of is um, made up and framed, so you can just double check that you you know you've got your workouts in the right area. So I really like that. And then let's look at sections. So add your first section. So I think that's to do with different um, workout programs, so interval, AMRAPs, time, freestyle, things like that got our programs so obviously we can create the different programs and again this will take you time to get started with but once you've got programs in here you can obviously copy them duplicate them add them to other clients and tweak them we've got tasks as well so this is task management which I really like again this could help you stay organized with your program and coaching and your check-ins and then we've got forms and questionnaires so again this is really good. Like if you're onboarding someone, you definitely want to going to get the information from them, like their weight, any injuries, what type of training they like, are they at a gym or are they at home? All these different questions are going to help you create the right plan for your clients. So we do want to use the forms and questionnaires. You can use these for check-ins as well, uh, to check in once a week to get feedback from them. So I really like having forms and questionnaires inside of here. 
Next we've got the inbox, so this is two-way messaging. This will be done on the app as well and can be done on desktop. I really like messaging features inside of training apps just because you want to keep all of your messaging in one place. You don't want to have WhatsApp and email and Messenger or Telegram because clients will just message you at all, uh, at all different times um, and especially if you've given your personal number as well. I wouldn't recommend doing that. So this is really good to have uh, the messages inside the coaching app which is just for your clients and then you can split that out to any marketing or prospecting you're doing on Facebook or Instagram or anything like that. So that's really good. Next we've got Autoflow. So this is automations. I haven't seen this in a lot of apps, um, but I really like this because like we can see here, day one we could do an onboarding video, day two chest workout, uh, day three can take your photo log metrics, and we can create these like auto messages and auto tasks to go out um, and, and message your clients just to check in with them. Again, you do want to have an element of uh, coaching in there. You can't just leave this and let it, you know, coach your clients, but it could really help you, um, you know, check in with your clients and make sure that you're not missing anything. So I really like that feature as well. Then we've got resources. So deliver on demand content to your clients. So this is almost like a membership site. So you've got like Kajabi or uh, ClickFunnels uh, or Teachable. So it would be really cool if you can create, you know, all of your content and your coaching content in one place. So definitely a feature that I haven't seen on a lot of the apps and could be, you know, very useful to teach um, more the educational side of, of coaching, not just the, the nutrition and the programs. So yeah, I really like that feature. Again, I think you need to upgrade for that, um, but it could be a feature that you do further down the line so that you can uh, offer on-demand content to your client. It looks like you can create it from their templates um, for like nutrition and recipes and things like that, which is really cool. Community forums, I really like this because a lot of people use Facebook groups and Facebook groups get noisy, the uh, clients will get distracted on there, they'll get hit with a reel or a video and, and they'll lose concentration. Whereas if you can create your own community inside your coaching program, you know, we can create um, tasks and challenges and also we've got leaderboards here as well. So this gamifies the, the program. So I really like this feature uh, alongside the, the content and the educational content. This is really powerful. And again, I'm not seeing this in a lot of apps, which um, you know, I really like. Next we've got packages. So uh, we can create packages and obviously sell. So it looks like we can create a package and then obviously have a link to send. So we've got the different packages and we can brand those slightly as well. So this is really good. So we can take payment. Now we wanna see what integrates with Everfit. So we're gonna have a look at that in a sec. But overall, my first impressions is it's got a lot of cool features. I really like the, the community feature and the educational content feature. The automations is really good as well. Um, the messaging with the audio messaging is awesome and the overall user interface it seems very simple, uh, very well put together and professional and I do really like everything. Now let's look and or talk about app access. So um, we're on the desktop app at the moment. There is an app for phones, so again, uh, pretty standard for iOS and Apple and Google and Android. Um, you can custom brand that, so if we come down to the bottom here, we can see custom branding. So you can get a client mobile app and you can kind of add your logo and add information. You can go even further and do advanced customization, customization, which is your own app icon and custom themes and more like that. So you may want to just start with simple branding and then you, further down the line, you might want to upgrade or you could just stay where you are. Um, so that's really cool. Client invitation, again, uh, you can have your own email to go out um, that gets people signed up. So it looks really professional for your business. Um, so yeah, awesome features then. I do like when you can kind of create your own apps um, and deliver them. They add a little bit more professionalism to your online business. So let's look at advanced. So yeah, this is the advanced custom branding where we, you know, we can create our own uh, branded app like this and, and the, uh, the intro screen is branded and the app is branded. So that might be something you look at further down the line. All right, so let's look at connectivity. So for this, I'm just gonna dive into the help feature here and I'm just gonna type in integrations and see what comes up in terms of what we can integrate. So we've got the health app integration, Fitbit integration, uh, chronometer, uh, my fitness pal. We've also got Stripe as well. So let's just take a look at more integrations and see what comes up. So Apple Health, Google Fit, my fitness pal. Um, which is pretty standard, so that's great. I know it integrates with Stripe as well. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't integrate with Zapier. Um, that might be coming in the future, but at the moment, these are the integrations that are available. So yeah, again, pretty standard. If we wanna use Stripe and we wanna use all of the other tracking features, that's really good to have. 
So finally, let's just look at support. So whilst we're here, uh, I'm on the intercom here, which again, I really like intercom. It is on a lot of the other apps as well. And it allows us just to search for help. So, you know, get some articles, some videos to look at. We've also got messaging so we can message uh, the support team and, and get any questions answered or getting support on anything and then we've got obviously the help section here as well which we can search and get articles and, and get more information on as well so overall the support looks really really good and uh, my overall opinion of Everfit is again it's a, a pretty well robust software I know a lot of coaches that use it I do like the features um, that they have in terms of the automations, the community, and some of the educational content as well. And then it takes all of the boxes for really coaching your online clients. So if you want to check it out, there'll be a link in the description. And if you have any questions on it, be sure to drop me a comment below. If you want to learn more about software for your online fitness business and you want to start, grow and scale your online fitness business, then the next thing you want to do is check out the video I've got linked up here on the top five AI tools for your online fitness business. In this video, I dive into my five top picks of AI software that is out right now that you could use in your online fitness business. Be sure to check it out and I'll see you in the next video.